Hey cuties, PG here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some brand new live action Monster High character posters. We can see their full looks and outfits finally. And we also have some more information about the animated series and just a bunch more news. So let's get into it. About an hour ago, the official Monster High Instagram account posted the very first looks at some of the actors in their character roles in these new character posters. Now they left out Abby and Gulia and I'm pretty no I feel like those are yeah th those are the only two characters that we knew were casted and they haven't posted those pictures so maybe they'll come later um I hope so because we know they're in a movie <laughs> they've been cast like literally I've talked about it in a previous video um so that's weird I mean maybe it's because you know you can only like post 10 pictures in a in a in a in, in a post so maybe they reached that limit and they had to cut someone out but then why did they include the teachers and not the two main characters like two like two characters that are like probably like bigger important characters than the teachers i don't know anyways um i i really hope we'll get to see them soon and obviously cover uh, how they look when those pictures come out but for now let's start off with um said teachers some of the school staff at monster high first up we have principal blood good being played by marcy t house so yeah i think she looks identical like the character uh in the movies as even the doll like that came out i think she looks exactly the same the fact that she's even holding her head in her arm that is just genius i mean obviously that's the iconic part of blood good but um you know in live action it, you always question yourself what, like what can they do what can they not do so i'm really happy that at least for this character poster they did give us that iconic pose of Miss Bloodgood, Principal Bloodgood, holding her head in her arm and then just having the neck bare, just, you know, <laughs> completely like nothing's there, you know? So that's iconic. I love that. I love her hair, the little accents of color. Her, she look, I love her smirk. I feel like she's going to be perfect in this role. And her outfit's like, a, yeah, identical, identically looking to the original outfit. I feel like they hear they really didn't change anything the outfit looks the same the pose is the same even the hair the updo i love it and um i don't i'm not i'm actually not sure what she's holding in her um in her left hand what what is she holding a, a pen a wand what is that <laughs> is that a wand <laughs> is she okay i don't know um is she a witch i don't know um <laughs> okay well i don't know what she's holding but um that doesn't matter. She looks great. I, I love her fit and I love the makeup on her, the hair, everything. It looks, it honestly looks like Principal Bloodgood, like a hundred percent. Next up, we have Mr. Comos. He's a brand new teacher character for this movie. He's being played by Kyle Selig. Um, so since he's a new character, we the good thing is that we can't compare him to any previous iteration because he's brand new character just for this movie. Um, why did they add a new teacher character for this live action movie only? That's a good question. Probably has to do with the plot. Probably they needed like a teacher or honestly just because there's, I mean, but there are teacher characters in the original like Monster High universe, but um, I guess they needed one that was like basic looking. I don't know, <laughs> that sounds mean. You know what I mean? Just like he has, he does have horns and they're kind of big, but um, at least I, I guess, you know, cause, uh, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm going to space out on all the names, but um, there was one teacher. He was invisible, right? So I, I, I imagine that will be difficult to translate to live action. And then um, there was another character. He, oh my God, what was his name? Uh, he had like a weird looking face <laughs> in like a trench coat. Um, I imagine that would have also been hard to translate to live action. So I imagine the reason they introduced a new teacher character is because they wanted a character who looked, you know, good enough to to, uh, to pass as a monster. So th and it could be actually doable with, you know, like the makeup and uh, special effects. So uh, I believe that's why they added him into the uh, plot, into the movie, because they just needed a basic teacher uh, character. I don't know. Um, yeah, or maybe again, he has more to do with plot. Let's see. So Mr. Comos, uh, he looks cool. I like his outfit. It's cute. It's preppy, you know, 
Um, it's really like the cliche, uh, you know, preppy teacher outfit, honestly. But um, he has a nice hairdo. Again, the horns really cool. Um, he looks cool. I'm, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's interesting they just introduced a new character. Honestly, that's the most interesting thing I can say about him. <laughs> But I'm sure he'll be amazing in movies. Next up, starting with the boy students here in this uh, character poster lineup, we have Heath Ledger being played by Justin Derrickson. Um, obviously, in the actual movie, I bet they're not gonna have they're not gonna be able to have his hair flame up all the time. But also, like in the um, animated movies, you know, the original Monster High movies, Heath never really had all the time flame hair. Um, it only activated when he wanted it to. So I guess that's gonna be a good way to excuse the fact that they can't really use that um, VFX uh, expense too much, you know, on him because it does cost money to um, put in the um, effects of real fire on his hair. But uh, it, they did that here with the poster that looks awesome. They gave him a little fireball as well. Um, he looks very serious. Honestly, not like Heath because Heath has always been like a very, you know, a joking kind of character goofball honestly right uh his romance with abby is one of the best things about that relationship so i honestly cannot wait to see if they actually implement that into the movie because abby is a character in the movie i am i am really hoping that's there somewhere please make that happen <laughs> um and yeah overall his outfit's pr pretty basic varsity jacket a hoodie um I, I like that they match the skin tone. You know, it's like a, it's a, it, it looks like it did in the original Monster High uh, version. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's cool. It's just, yeah, he's wearing a basic outfit. There's not much else to say. Um, but he looks, I don't know. He since he doesn't look, he doesn't look like a goofball. So maybe he's gonna have more of like a change of character in that perspective in the movie maybe he's gonna be more serious i don't know let's find out but we have of course deuce gorgon being played by case walker um we've already talked about his little first uh, teaser look in the previous video um and here we are we can actually see him so um it's interesting that he does have some hair popping out of the beanie so maybe not all of his hair is like snake hair I think maybe, or maybe they're gonna go with like, oh, he he got rid of the snake hair. And it's a potion, you know, since witchcraft is a thing in this version of Monster High now, right? Um, and because you know he does have a snake, but it's like really small and it's around his neck. You can barely see it, but um, there is a snake around his neck. So maybe he just has like a few snakes, and he you know and he talks of them and he's like you know they're friends and maybe that's like what they're gonna do and since and that's also gonna be lo better uh you know for like low cost since it's like less vfx i don't know um but his hair is green at least you know so that's cool he doesn't have sunglasses on like i predicted he has like um reading glasses so that's really cute um and he has some glowy eyes so maybe they're special glasses that um you know protect him from like he can look at other people but they still protect other people from not seeing directly into his eyes i don't know how they're gonna work around that whole factor but um it it looks cool and his outfit's pretty slick too he doesn't have a varsity jacket on so maybe he's not on like the school like sports team since you know uh in the original version he was playing like uh, basketball, right? Like he was in a sports team. Um, so maybe he's not into sports in this movie. Maybe he's more like a loner. Cause me, I don't know. I feel like, you know, that's kind of like the look they're going for, like a jughead from Riverdale. A uh, really bad comparison, but you know, it's like a. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. So the beanie, and then he has a jacket on. He has a sweater on. Almost looks like a military pattern. I'm not sure what pattern that is, but I like it. It fits him. Maybe like a snake pattern. Yeah. So yeah, he looks cool. Um, and I do hope that um, we see his relationship with Cleo or with Frankie, whoever he's supposed to end up with. I just, you know, I hope that they um, implement that because that's an iconic part of Deuce, you know, as a character. So and um yeah i don't know he looks cute he's cute you know i f and i also missed uh he was dancing in a teaser and i missed that um so i i didn't know that was him because it didn't look like him but i i know it's him now in the teaser who he, he was dancing amongst the um amongst the um background characters and i completely missed that 
<laughs> um, but we'll watch the teaser. There's actually a second teaser uh, that has different audio, like different uh, speaking lines. We'll take a look at that after. So we'll get to see him in a quick little clip there. But um, yeah, overall, he's cute. And um, I want to see how he acts, though. Like, it really comes down to the acting. Here, Next so. up, of course, we have Ms. Cleo Denial being played by G. Prishkolnik. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. I'm so sorry. Um, so here she is. We've already seen, we've already seen her in a teaser, right? That's like the big image. That's like like whoa like that's the biggest image from the teaser we get to see cleo fully and here it's just a better lighting moment for her um because the outfit's the same she has the same outfit on uh she's in a different pose obviously and obviously because it's a character poster they made her look extra extra mummified because um she doesn't have bandages you know she doesn't have that but she does have a really nice gold and like shimmery tone on her legs I love that. I really hope that really pops in the movie too because in the teaser it was very dark for her scene. We couldn't tell that at all. We couldn't, you know, make out that her skin had like the gold and bronzy effect like at all because it was just so dark in that scene for her. But here we can really see it has like really nice shine, almost like body glitter or something. It looks really cool. Um, we can also see the skirt in better detail. It almost looks like bandages, blue bandages. And then there's some obvious uh, bandages coming down on the sides. And then she has some uh, high uh, high ankle like gla gladiator heels, sandals. How do you call those? <laughs> They're in blue. Um, obviously, it's probably trying to imitate like bandages going around her feet. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, her belt, her her hair has a blue effect. Yeah, I feel like Cleo, you know, they're really going for like blue with the color theme for her. Uh, I get that. Um, but, you know, gold is always such a big thing for Cleo. So I do hope that, you know, they give her at least some gold accents in her uh, outfit here for different outfits in the movie. Next you know? up, we have Draculaura being played by Naya Damazin. And I feel like she's everyone's favorite right now just because she looks so much like Draculaura. She has the half pink, half black hair, the bangs. Um, her outfit's a little on the dark side. Like it's not a, I mean, she has the pink belt. She has some pink uh, the pink sleeves, the pink like little bow, um, but overall her outfit's very dark, like her skirt, you know, her the tights, the shirt, like it's very, it's very dark. Um, she only has hints of pink, so I hope that, the, you know, and we've seen her in a different outfit in a teaser, so I do know she's going to be in different outfits, um, but I hope that, you know, she has more pink outfits because, you know, it's part of her look. Um, she has obviously the new edition of being into witchcraft so that's awesome i feel like everyone's also really supportive of that change they really love that like witch draculaura <laughs> like no one knew we needed that but like here it is and now we love it so um yeah overall she's really cute um i love her pose here her heels i want to see those heels girl they look so so cute um yeah overall i'm not gonna spend too much time on her because you know we've seen her already she just looks really cool i like what they did with her design and i love the actress here who's playing her she looks so charismatic and you know just like she i feel like she's gonna fit into dracula next really well. up we have claudine obviously being played by mia harris she's the main protagonist in this story um we've already seen a bunch of her uh in the previous teases so uh there's not much to say with her i like her she has she's in her main outfit here the fur coat the moon shirt and then a cheetah print skirt and she also has some cheetah print boots but they're in like a beige tone overall she has such a cute outfit and um her ears are also they look so cute i am curious to see how they're gonna work in the movie i do hope they move a little bit in certain points because those are her ears so it would make sense for them to move i hope they don't just look like little headband ears you know because that would look cheap um but they look really detailed here um yeah she has glasses on she has the curly hair uh i like it i like her she's really cute next up we have frankie stein being played by cc balagot um and we've never actually seen her full outfit uh but she seems to be wearing kind of like a school uniform with some pops of color with her bright neon pink uh bold earring on one side and her uh bright neon green chain belt linked to her belt and then she has some buckle detailing uh, a really nice tie with a print um and then her her, she has some 
ripped tights with like major holes that looks cool and the big thing with her outfit is her chunky boots uh not boots the heels these are these are like chunky heels girl the chunky uh heel the platform in black i love love this shoe for her um and otherwise she looks pretty you know plain um <laughs> she the makeup on her the it looks good the skin tone works it's like frankie of course and then she has um the black and white hair um on one side pulled back on the other um yeah I, she looks she looks like frankie here the pose is totally frankie and i do hope that they use her um powers a little bit in the movie and because she also doesn't have the um little bolts on her neck i don't believe unless they're really small <laughs> um so i do hope that we see some stitching details on her arms or maybe i don't know that would be cool so, and yeah. i saved the best uh question mark for last well i saved the character here that has the most changes for last with laguna being played by lena lecomte i believe that's a french surname so i'm not sure how to pronounce that um but this is laguna yes this is uh miss laguna blue and she's not so blue anymore is she um we'll get into more detail about what what her skin tone is going to be in the animated series because you know is not gonna be blue <laughs> and here in a live action movie is not blue either um they're going for more of a skin tone i guess in a more of like a pink side um her overall i mean i'm glad to see she has her fins she has her fins on her on her um calves so they're they exist they are there um to really signify you know she's a laguna <laughs> um she the design is completely different she has become the queen of pastel colors <laughs> she she has yellow pink blue overall in her hair outfit she mm, she she's giving she's giving me pastel queen i don't know why they chose to really go with this change because they could have just given her like blonde hair stayed with the um you know blue skin tone which we know they can do because frankie hello has a green skin green skin tone dracula has a pink skin tone you know so it, it obviously they can do it so this was a made on purpose it was a choice um i don't know why i mean i'm not saying i hate it i it's just it's not laguna as we know her she is different here she again she's like the one with the most changes um and now looking at her you oddly feel much more connected with the other portrayals of the characters because all of the other characters at least really look like the characters laguna just looks like i don't know looks like a new character um i don't know it really is going to come down to if they keep the australian accent you know the mannerisms the personality if those all stay the same then i feel like yes we will get used to her being laguna because she is the same character personality she is the same you know person but the only thing that's changed is her look so if her look doesn't change the way we overall feel about her i feel like that's what we want to get from this live action movie portrayal of laguna if the change of looks is too drastic and the acting doesn't help then obviously she's not going to feel like laguna so i do i do think it's going to just come down to you know how she acts in the movie how is she gonna you know talk and stuff so i'm not gonna you know judge too harshly i'm not i'm this is just the first impression obviously um it's just really interesting that they made this really 180 for her you know giving her pastel colors the yellow the pink also because laguna was never known to have yellow or pink in her outfits you know i mean on occasion but never all together like this you know like she was never known to be pastel um so yeah interesting i do like her outfit though it does keep in the athleisure aesthetic laguna was always known for the uh, skin tight shorts the really flowy uh like hoodie um i like the colors that are going on uh, like aside from the change that is obviously 
made i do like the colors like by themselves like if this was a new character i would be like yes queen slay you know like i wouldn't care because it looks she the outfit looks really good um and the shoes like are you kidding me it just she does look cool in the wig like damn those th the colors really pop like i really love the design the colors they chose here it's just the fact that it's for laguna and not a new character i feel like if it would have been a new character it would have made more sense because it's a new character laguna this is just like it's not we've never seen laguna L laguna like this obviously and um so yeah i don't know um i'm on i don't know i like i like the actual design the colors the outfits by themselves i like all those aspects but just the fact that this is now what laguna is it's just that's what's throwing me you know a little bit but um yeah again it's gonna come down to the portrayal the acting uh, overall but i i do like how she looks like regardless and those you are know. all the character posters for now obviously we're gonna get gulia and abby very soon i hope so um but overall i really like the um little touches of you know the flame for heave the the, the little effect here for the pictures at uh, the, the water with laguna i forgot to mention i love the poses for all of the characters it looks very dynamic uh, definitely who coached whoever made these photos and told them to pose in a certain way did a good job um i like the portrayals it's just you know some changes like especially laguna just doesn't make sense to me um just because it's such a good drastic change and i'm not gonna get into it i'm not gonna get into it because this video is so long already but um yeah overall i am excited i am super excited and again if the portrayal is right of laguna i feel like very quickly you will come around to feeling like this is laguna as a character you know because i feel like characters are characters for a reason it's the personality that matters and the way an actor you know inhabits their role of them and if that's really strong then it doesn't matter how they look like it doesn't really play i mean it does a little bit but like at the end of the day it really does come down to the actor's portrayal so i do hope it it matches you know the aesthetic and the outfits that's all i can hope for and uh, i can't wait to see the movie regardless now moving on to the animation show side of things like i teased a little bit with laguna while talking about laguna at uh, howlene dolls on instagram was able to get into the conference showing of nickelodeon which also means monster high um they were not able to actually take pictures or footage because that was prohibited um but they were able to uh kind of redraw what they remembered of the character poster for the animation show now we've already seen Deus, dracula um frankie and claudine and the poses are literally the same like we see here on this drawing that uh howling dolls did just uh, you know from remembrance um and so the characters we haven't seen are laguna and cleo now cleo um they mentioned that she's in full blue like her main color theme now is blue she has she seems to be like from the outfit that was drawn here it looks very similar to the outfit that we saw in a blurry picture of the doll so i believe that's a one-to-one -one connection and then she doesn't have bangs anymore she has the obvious like side swept hair just like we saw with the recent doll reveal so we we see some connections overall there as well and then with laguna laguna again the biggest change apparently she has pink skin now pink pink um and she has her hair in a ponytail um the outfit uh, they didn't remember too much so we're really just going on we're, we're really just uh, going out here with the uh, facial and like the skin tone here um so those are the biggest changes with laguna um yeah she has pink skin apparently in the in the animation show a ponytail with bright colors just like with just like we saw with the character poster but at least with the live action movie her skin is in pink it's more like natural skin, I guess, with a tan. I don't know. At least it's not like pink, but if it's gonna be pink in the animation show, oof, I don't, I don't know. Like I can, I can, I can wrap my head around the color aesthetic, the, the change with the, pastel, with the pastel colors. I can, you know, I can adjust myself to that. But Laguna having pink skin is just not Laguna. What is fishy about having pink skin? Like, I don't know <laughs> why why pink um I don't know I don't know how I feel about that like again if they really stuck to the uh, pastel color design for Laguna I feel like I'm okay with that at the end of the day like I I can get used to it but like 
changing her skin tone to pink oh my god i don't know um and the animation show looks so promising because all of the voice all of the voice cast that was uh voicing all of the original characters are coming back to reprise their roles so all of the original voice cast is coming back all of the voice actors so that's really strong and the overall design choices we saw with cleo uh we saw with jack clara claudine frankie deuce they all look so good but now with laguna having pink skin i'm just like i'm so thrown i'm so thrown by laguna's specific choices um individually because all the other characters look good in the live action uh character posters they all look good in some ways better than others in the animation little teasers leaks all of the characters look good it's like laguna in both um both projects the animation show and then the movie in both of those projects it's like they changed her design so much and i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why because <laughs> laguna's design is so simple and and it works so well i don't i don't know why it's really the pink skin for me i don't know how i'm gonna feel about that i really need to see the whole show and the movie i it's just uh, but again you got we gotta remember it's a new era it's a new iteration of monster high this generation of monster high isn't supposed to replace or even come close to what the original generation of monster high achieved and was so these are two different entities we gotta remember that so at the end of the day original laguna is always going to be there she's always going to be the reigning queen but um we just have a new laguna and she just looks a little different so we just gotta we i just gotta i gotta wait i gotta watch the movie i gotta watch the show um i gotta hold off on my final opinions okay talking. uh thank you to add uh mordecai wolfgang also for that uh last uh story screenshots they really were able to um really simplify the changes with the animation show and the movie overall with the character so that that was i just needed it was just a good kind of reprise of what we just talked about and i thank you too at howling dolls uh for telling us all of this all of this information in the first place because uh without without them we wouldn't know anything so <laughs> Yeah, moving on, um, Monster High is going to be at VidCon. It says, Nickelodeon can't wait to see you at VidCon. In the main convention hall, look for the clock tower and follow the mysterious eye at the top. It will lead you to our Monster High the movie activation where you can explore the school's hallowed halls and get to know the characters. Join the interactive experience and find your true monster heart. So yeah, um, this is going to be an experience, a uh, obviously like uh, an attraction at VidCon for Monster High the movie. Um, I heard Zombie X Corn is going. Jay, is that true? Let me know. <laughs> Um, Claudia, and, that, and this and this picture was actually taken from uh, Claudia Nine's uh, Instagram story. So they were actually the first ones to announce this was happening. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, it sounds like a fun time. You know, VidCon. I don't know where that is. Uh, it's in America, obviously. So I live in Europe. I'm not going. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Oh, okay. Um, it sounds awesome. Anyone who's going, please send me footage. I I want to I want to know how it looks like. I just got my life um, in the shadows. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. There's something about me no one can know. I kind of know everything, except how to fit in. I want to create my own destiny. This year might get complicated. There's a lot about me that's a little dangerous. If anyone finds out, I'll be an outcast forever. So that was the second uh, teaser. The I mean, the teaser is basically the same, but uh, at the beginning, the um, Frankie, Claudine, Dracula, Deuce, they all say different things, which is, that's interesting. And we also get this um, extended shot at the um, classroom dancing scene. And in this uh, other side of the classroom, we can see two other characters. Um, this obviously looks like Frankie in the forefront. And then in the character in the background, is that Abby? I don't know. I don't know who that is. It could just be a generic background character or it could be Abby. Um, since we don't have a character poster for Abby, I feel like we don't, I mean, it could be, it could be not her. 
um it eats oh my away. god 30 minutes you guys okay we're gonna wrap this up really quickly we have a new uh listing well listing we have confirmation that the world's smallest monster high mini figurines are gonna come out in october so that is awesome thank you to Mordecai wolfgang once again and then we also have these uh this very blurry picture of what seems to be a new monster high set of some sorts thanks to at the dolly uh oh also thanks to at the dolly alls we have a part two of a monster high uh fall lineup we have the gorganizer uh place it with jacquelora doll we have a beauty salon place it with a laguna blue doll uh both probably exclusive to each place set and then we have a car uh place set and then we have a bedroom place set. we have so many places and then uh pause to read the details if you wish to do but so yeah sweet potatoes this was a long video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you thought of the character posters the animated show more information uh these last uh the teaser variant with the speaking lines what do you think of all of these these two projects individually let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more monster high doll news movie news animated show news doll reviews uh episode reaction videos coming very soon a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love <gasps> stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses